I'm Gabrielle Samuel. I'm a church attached missionary working with Brixton Local Church. Growing up, I loved church. Um, I would have definitely have said I was a Christian. Uh, I thought I was a Christian because I went to church, because I was on the Christian side in conversations in RE, because I didn't do things that other people did. In all reality, after Sunday service was finished, Jesus played no part whatsoever in my actual life and the decisions I made and how I thought about anything really. There was a lot of other priorities and Jesus was not remotely one. He didn't even register as a legit category on the list. <laughs> So, I'm 15 and one of my friends from school is getting baptised and because obviously I'm a very good Christian and I'm very encouraging, I said I was, I'd go along to her baptism to support her. So I go along to her baptism and to be honest with you, I don't remember a single word the guy said in the service. What I do remember is one verse and the verse starts off, um, the wages of sin is death. When I heard that, um, something in my stomach like, got really tight and tense. Someone receiving their wages at the end of a day's work was really, really important to how I thought about things being right and just and fair. And then to read that verse that said the wages for my sin was death, what I'd been earning with my life, with my time, with my thoughts, the thing that was due to me, that was my right to have, was death. That um, shook me really in that service. The Holy Spirit was really at work in me and I remember thinking, like, trust in Jesus, trust in Jesus. And the rest of the verse says, but the gift of God is eternal life. Um, on one hand there were my wages that I deserved and on the other hand there was a gift from God that was eternal life. And I knew that what I needed to do in that moment was to trust in Jesus. And so at um, my friend's baptism, sat in the rafters, um, completely ignoring the preacher, I remember thinking, I'll trust in Jesus then. I got baptised that night. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Looking back on those early years of my life as a Christian now, I think the most easy way to describe it is like I had a diamond, but I was using it as a paperweight. So I knew the gospel. I knew the gospel was true. I knew that Jesus could save. I knew I was a sinner and that I needed saving. Um, but anything more than that, the, the depth of the gospel, the riches of the gospel, the big picture of the gospel, how the gospel fits with the details of my life, I hadn't quite worked out yet. I had this amazing, valuable diamond. I had no idea what to do with it, how to use it, what it was worth and what it meant. And so I had this diamond and was using it as a paperweight. But by God's grace, age 19, whilst I was at Manchester Uni, I got um, invited to a Bible study in a pub on a Tuesday evening. In that study, in walking through the book of Romans, I think I saw the value of Christ. I started to get a grasp of what the gospel meant, of the riches and the depth of the work of Christ, the finished work of Christ, um, in all its colour, in all its glory. That diamond paperweight that I'd had sat on the desk for those years finally started to, to make sense. Its value became evident and my heart really um, warmed and became inflamed with like the glories of Christ. I love that it's my joy and my job to walk alongside people, to share my life with people, to give them my time and my energy, to invest, to help in practical ways, but to point them to Christ, to open the scripture of them in Nando's and in KFC and in my house, um, just out and about in Brixton and walk with people, talk to them about who they think God is, what they think he's like, what they think he's done, what they think he wants from them and to speak uh, God's words in that situation, to open up his word and see, well let's see what he said for himself, let's hear him speak. Um, it's my joy that that is my job, yeah, it's a great job. <laughs>